This is just 16, but check out his handiwork. He custom made these kitchen and cheese boards alongside his dad. Together they run a successful woodworking business that gives 15% of their revenue to cancer charities. Uh, more inspiring, even more inspiring is why they do it and who their business honors. So everybody say hi to Magnus and his dad, Eric. Give it up. So I, I have to ask this too. So you, do you use the wood from your backyard, I heard? Yeah. We prioritize using local timber to be more sustainable and also just it's a great way to do that. And yes, some of it has come out of our backyard in a storm that came by about like five years ago. Kind of worked out for us. We got logs. Our neighbors got their trees moved. Works out. Yeah. But <laughs> Might as well use them. Yeah. yeah. That's but. incredible. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So have you always been into, um, Eric, have you always been into like woodworking? I have not. No. My, my background's in technology. And oh my so God. I thought you would have been the one to like teach me. Oh no. my God. So, so as I've learned. He's been learning, so we've been teaching him. But you know, so when when you know, I was working in New York City, eventually moved up to Boston, got a house with a basement, started filling it up with tools. As I started using them, Magnus, as a little kid, would come down and he'd help me do different things. Like he really liked playing with the glue, so it helped do that. And then you know, Deb, my, my wife Deborah, <laughs> my wife Deborah, um, you know, liked to cook a lot, so yeah. you know, started doing things that were helpful for her in the kitchen. So we started doing some cutting boards and. One thing kind of led to another, and she's like, well, these are pretty nice. My friends like them. I like them. You know, maybe you could start selling these things, and that's kind of how we got going. So, Eric, like, I don't know. The work is now, it has a different meaning now, right? It does. Um, so back in 2014, Debbie was diagnosed with colon cancer, hmm. and um, this is shortly after we had started doing stuff as a little business together, but as she was uh, going through treatments and stuff, she was still really encouraging us to spend the time together, to work together on stuff, and... She was helping out a lot too, you know, as she was feeling up to it. So she'd help doing stuff with marketing on Facebook and stuff like that and setting up for us to go to craft fairs. She'd come to the craft fairs and talk to people and kind of coach Magnus on kind of what to do and what to say. and the people you know, skills tell, part. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, she was better at that than we were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. By far. And then, you know, she, she ended up passing in uh, September of 2020. Mm. Um, and so that was really devastating for both of us. We ended up kind of retreating into the basement workshop for three days and took some of her favorite woods and we built the urn that she was buried in. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's so beautiful. And, and it's kind of an amazing legacy for your family because y'all all were in that together. So now she, yeah. you know, kind of her spirit is there whenever y'all are down there working on stuff, whenever you're building stuff, like that's kind of a beautiful thing. So you, you donate from your business, right? To cancer research, right? Yeah, we donate 15% of revenue. Um, we were really fortunate when mom got sick, we were able to get a lot of resources and a lot of help. The doctors and nurses were all so great throughout the process, mm -hmm. even in the end when mom was just kind of bedridden. There's always someone coming, just checking on her, and we were really lucky to have that. Yeah. And I really just want to make sure other people have the chance to do that. So we donate to can cancer charities like the American Cancer Society and the Jimmy Fund at Dana-Farber because we want to focus so much on family support and research just so that other people are, don't have to go through what I did too. Because it's hard enough already. So anything that can make it easier. What does it mean to have this with your son? And like, what a great son, what a great heart. Y'all raised such a great boy. You know, it's, there's a lot of that that's due to my wife, Deborah. And, but you know, he works hard at it and he's enjoyed, I think, mostly doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, it's, it's, it's really encouraging you know, to see him kind of continuing to do it and to like doing it and giving back for stuff. I think it's a good lesson for him. And yeah. I think it helps a lot of other people. I and mean, we'll see what happens to the business when he goes to college. Yeah. But um, for right now, we're enjoying it and taking it you know, to where, wherever we can. Yeah, it's such an amazing thing to be able to build something. I yeah, want to I build something. That's, yeah, <laughs> I'm very impressed. Um, so, Magnus, people, people know about your mom, right? They yeah. know who she was and, like, how, what was she like? Well, she was always the one who was just kind of there and pushing you and, like, supporting you no matter what happened. Even throughout all those seven years when she had cancer, she was the one who was behind us and, like, always kept us going. And really, if I had to take anything away from all that, it's just that, no matter what, she never let life get her down. Like, Which is even remarkable. Yeah, even through seven years of fighting. Yeah. Seven years. She was amaz amazingly encouraging of, of everybody and everything. And she had so many friends and people who loved her and stuff like that. It was just a... Well, what beautiful footprints to leave behind. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh my gosh, well, you can find these beautiful handmade products online, um, which can help support a great cause, everybody. So you get something cool while helping people, that's like the best thing ever. And to learn more about the American Cancer Society and the Jimmy Fund, head to the Kelly Clarkson Show Instagram story.